I do do Rev Honey. <laughs> Only on days that I feel like you're going to be on CBS. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Rev Honey's dying. Hey, hello. It's hey. from Bee Honey. That's what its thing is. It really? That's the sugar that's in it. It's from bees, like the honey. We need to stop killing the bees. I know. Well, they're because not killing the bees. The bees make honey without dying. They're overworking them. They're overworking them. <laughs> they're overworked bees. Not, they're underpaid bees. Underpaid bees. <laughs> I, I try to write as honest as possible, so wear my heart on my sleeve. I think it's important um, what you were also telling me off camera about how you changed your lifestyle to get back to where you were. Tell, talk a little bit about what you had to do and maybe uh, why it's significant. Maybe your fans should know why you changed your lifestyle. Uh, I changed my lifestyle because if I didn't, then I would either go back to prison or I would die. And, or I'd become a really big loser. I just, I just felt... It's just not a good way to live. It's like your thought process. You're, you're depressed. It's just bad. There's no reason. It's, it's you waste your money and, it's it's just you shouldn't do it. I know I sound like an old, uh, old man trying to preach, but I'm not. I'm just saying it's just it's not a good way. All I do now is, work out, and I stop smoking. I stop drinking because I think that, even that is is going to lead me back to the, to a bad place, a dark place. I'm in the happiest place I could possibly be, be now, so. Yeah. Uh, talking about your age, uh, not your age, but your fans' age base, uh, I don't understand fully why it's so young, but you said that, you know, you've seen some other people on uh, tour so far that have been really resonating with your stuff. Yeah, I saw a dude looks like Ronnie James Dio singing all my lyrics. I was like, <laughs> the spirit of Ronnie James Dio is in the front row singing my lyrics it was crazy it was the dad of one of the girls and he was singing the lyrics and he looked like dio one of them looked like uh rob zombie it was crazy man i um there's some older fans or some younger fans there's some my age fans too so i don't realize i don't or i don't understand how y i see really young fans like they were fans in escape the fate they had to have been like nine years old when my first cd came out i don't understand some of them are really young what do you think? Um, what do you think you're going to be most excited about when you take the stage? You know, these, just getting back into the flow. What excites you now? What drives you? That I could actually sing, like without like worrying about if, like I might have a little worries if my oh uh, my voice is a little raspy, but like I've noticed that since I take care of my body a lot more, that I can sing all my notes without being like. <gasps> Oh, I can't breathe and you know like it's just uh, my endurance is ridiculous I feel like when I'm at the end of the set I'm like I'm like that's all we already went through the set like I want to go more you know so it just I look forward to that like knowing that I can don't have to worry about like instead of being like oh I gotta go on stage tonight yeah. am I gonna last you know what are we gonna see uh, what are we gonna see from the live show uh, sometimes we've been with artists that we've seen them before and we've talked to them before we haven't talked to you before what are we gonna see when you take the stage um, just the same antics. I always just I'm just be myself. Some antics. I might eat a hamburger, and in in stage with no pants with Richard <laughs> and Ronnie Dio in the front row. Eating a hamburger. Crazy. <laughs> Shenanigans, no. folks. We'll have some fun tonight. Yeah. Alcohol, maybe um, Jagermeister. Loosening of their loosening of their body, not their voice, maybe, but maybe it loosens them up. Maybe that was a their. Yeah, their nerves. Maybe it Maybe shakes. It, it makes their nerves not so crazy. But I know that Jägermeister has licorice root in it, which is really good for the vocals. But I'm sure chugging a a, a pint of Jack Daniels before you go on stage is not going to do the trick. <laughs> and you see that a lot. We've seen <laughs> that multiple times. Uh, I think that that's a, a a bad way. I think that um, people think that they have to do that to be cool like oh look at them he just chugged jack daniels he's a badass <laughs> really go to prison and then get out of prison and then and then start talking about being a badass that's like that's not even cool you know don't i don't i, I think the new generation should promote health instead of uh let's go get wasted every night well, coming out of your mouth is really really important for them to hear that i think uh I, it doesn't mean I write about being, oh, I'm so, such a good person. And I write about my demons that I fight and I battle. And that's what, and that's the truth. And I, I just write about my reality. And the kids like that. And it, it's like a, 
it relieves like some guilt guilt off of me when I write about it and get to release it every night on stage. So, you know, so I think kids like that. Ronnie, thanks very much, Joe. We appreciate it.